Um, I got the Bada Bing cigar. Uh, it's about a week and a half old now. Um, still love it. Still putting out mushroom clouds of vapor. Uh, it's unreal. I can't believe how well it's still working. Uh, I just put a new card on. I got uh, the Marlboro High, and I have to say I actually prefer the carts that come with the Bada Bing as opposed to filling them or topping them with something else. Uh, they're really good. Uh, it tastes different than a Marlboro through a 901. Uh, it, it just seems to burn the e-liquid the e better and uh, get a bigger hit. Lighting's probably not really good, but I mean, the room is just crawling with vapor. Let me uh, see if I can get out of the light a little bit and let you see another big one here. You can't beat it. Um, I don't want to give it too good of a review because, frankly, uh, I want to be greedy and I want to get as many of these for myself as possible. And I have a feeling that people are going to see this, they're going to want a bada bing. Um, I, like I said in the first review, the only complaint I have is a uh, LED color and uh, could actually be a little bit bigger. Uh, like I said, this I compare it to a Dutch Master President cigar. Uh, this is the size cigar I'm usually used to smoking when I smoke cigars. This is a 52 ring, uh, compared to the Bada Bing. It makes the Bada Bing look like a, a mini. But, uh, you can't beat it. I'm still on the first atomizer. Um, week and a half in, using it pretty much exclusively. I do have my uh, 901s. I've got two of them ready to go in my little case. Uh, one of them with pina colada. And uh, one of them with the risky. Both not bad for vapor production, but uh, now you take the Bada Bing and you compare it, we're going to go with uh, the, we're going to go with Pina Colada because it just seems to vape a little bit better than uh, the Risky does. Uh, so I'm going to give it a little bit of an advantage. I'm using the one I noticed a little bit more vapor with. We're going to go compare the 901 with uh, pina colada pretty good but now we're going to go with the bada bing with uh, the regular marlboro high cart that came with it That, the vapor from this 901 being a 3 compared to a 10 with uh, the Bada Bing. Um, I just put a battery in my second atomizer, my second Bada Bing, and I have not tried it yet. So I've got my first Bada Bing that you see me smoking or vaping. It's just a little one. Let me hit that again. I have not had a dead draw on this. I've had little tiny hits because uh, I've been kind of puffing light on it, uh, almost smoking it like a cigar. So here's here's the original 901, the one I started out with and it used exclusively. I 
unreal. Okay, here's the second one. I just put a brand new battery in it, brand new cartridge. This is the second, second atomizer, my spare. Let's see how it works. For the first draw on it, not bad. Uh, not quite as good as the first one, but uh, I got, I'm going to suspect it's only because that was the first draw. I really don't like the primer fluid. <laughs> um, uh, let's let's try the second one again. Okay, that was much better. Um, I love them. Get them. Get three or four of them, because if you don't, I'm going to, and you won't be able to get one. Uh, my dad is a 901 vapor. Uh, he's burned through so many atomizers, it's not even funny. Uh, he draws real heavy. I gave him my Bada Bing to try, and he pulled on it and just went to town like he is smoking one of his regular cigarettes, one of his analogs, and uh, about knocked him on his butt. He told me, get me one. Uh, I'm going to get him too. Uh, I've had this for, I believe, uh, 11 days, and I haven't had a single analog since. Uh, I'm going to try the second one again. It's warming up. It's going pretty good. I'm going to try the first one. I'll tell you, best deal there is. The Bada Bing, Pure Smoker, Steve, you rock. That's my second review of the Bada Bing, and I hope that helps you all make a decision. Figure head out.